Hey guys, it's Robert from Repurpose and Reuse, and I'm here at my local Dollar Tree. I'm gonna try to make a Dollar Tree arrow. Here we go. Bamboo skewers for a dollar. Use this Dollar Tree duct tape for my arrows, and this Dollar Tree duct tape for the feathers. And I'm gonna use this Dollar Tree screwdriver set for my arrowheads. And finally, in the office supplies aisle, I'm gonna use these index file plastic tabs for my feathers. Go ahead and open everything up. So these bamboo skewers, they're a little too flimsy to use a, a single one for a single arrow. So I'm gonna use three of them together for a single arrow and I'm gonna duct tape them together. I'm gonna use these tabs for my feathers, screwdrivers for my arrowheads. I'm gonna tape two of them together about four inches from the end and then tape them about three inches from the point making sure they're perfectly flat. Then I'm going to tape them together in the middle. And then I'm going to take my third skewer and tape it on top like this. Now I have my bundle of three like this. All right, so now you're left with your three skewers taped together with your four inches in the back where we're gonna put our feathers and the two and a half inches in the front where we're gonna put our arrowhead. The index tabs I got from the Dollar Tree were individual and after doing a little experimenting, it was a little harder to put three individual ones for the feathers. So instead of using the ones here, I'm gonna use the old school like this with these wings that come off of it like as the other two feathers and you can wrap it like this and it works much better than trying to stick three individual tabs on there for each feather you push it all the way down to the tape and then we'll put tape back here There's one feather. There's two feathers. So there we go. So there's our feathers on the end of the arrow. And now to make the arrow knock, we want the bowstring to fit right in between here. So what we're gonna do, you can use a small piece of a stick. I like to use just the tip of this arrow. So we're gonna break this off. And wedge this down in here. Once you have a good size, then you want to secure it down with some more duct tape. So about like that. The end of our arrow is finished with the feathers and the notch. And then we'll work on the arrow head. For my purposes, I wanted to make Dollar Tree arrows, so I, I'm using the tips of screwdrivers. Someone had told me in comments you can use old keys, you can use drill bit heads, anything that gives some good weight. And you can also file these to a point cut off about two inches of my Phillips head screwdriver. There's one. You can leave these tips on if you're making a field point for birds or spear point for fish. But for targets, I like to cut them off. Really 
tight. And there you go. My Dollar Tree arrow made for about a dollar. I can make four of them with the supplies I got. So I'm going to do just that. Got my three skewers, my index file tab feathers, and my Phillips screwdriver arrowhead. And for the guy who commented on my last video that the only reason I hit the target was because I had a high quality carbon arrow <laughs> with my $10 Walmart bow I made out of uh, highway markers, which is actually about a 55 pound draw weight. I tested it out. Um, I hope I prove you wrong on this and I hope I hit my target. Let's see if I can. There we go. Thanks guys.